It's time for Let's Eat. Let's Eat is brought to you by Why Cook. Eat healthy, fresh, and local. Just mm -hmm. head over to whycook.com to find that local restaurant, chef, or food truck in your neighborhood. Absolutely. So, and we're talking about eating healthy and fun with our favorite nutritionist, Christy. Yes. Kristen, uh, how are you? Hi, <laughs> I'm Kristen. good. Well, I'm a little thrown off because, you know, we, we've been talking about canned foods, and yeah. I, I look over here and go, okay, canned foods again. They get a bad rap. They do, sure. don't they? Yeah. Well, and especially we were talking about, because isn't National Fruit Cocktail Day coming up? Yeah, it's okay. Saturday. Ooh, oh, all right. Like all right. Tomorrow. Needs a little love, you know? Yeah. I feel yeah. like nobody talks about fruit cocktails, and, and but I, it's great. I love fruit cocktails when I was a little kid. I would go in there and open them. Uh -huh. So I'm definitely taking one of these. Anyways, all right, I'll wait. Yes, yeah, do, wait. It. So, do it. But, so I'm so excited to partner with Pacific Coast producers for this segment. So they make all the fruit the canned fruit, canned tomatoes for the country. So all private labels. So anytime you go into a Safeway or a Walmart or Whole Foods, it's them. That store brand is their product. So it's all the same. I love it. Yeah, and I love you were pointing that out earlier that yes, we think when we go into Whole Foods that for whatever reason the cans are magically healthier than yeah. at a Walmart, but it's not. It's the same, same company. Same product, same okay. company gotcha. doing it all, which is so impressive. So I'm going to share with you guys a few different ways to utilize fruit cocktail because I don't know if you know this, but only 30% of Americans actually eat enough fruit. That's oh my goodness. Recommended. Wow. You're supposed to eat about two cups a day. Most of us aren't doing that. So here are some easy ways to incorporate more fruit into your diet. I okay. like it. I love right. it. Yeah. So where do we start? The first one is going to be a cake, which is my favorite way to do okay. that. So, All right. I like this. Brad, why don't you pour the fruit cocktail? Okay, there. The fruit cocktail in first. Two cans of drained fruit cocktail. All right. Right into the bottom there. Yep. And Perfect. then you can use this spoon to kind of spread it out. Okay. And then what I want you to do is take the box of white cake mix. Okay. So this is what makes it a three ingredient recipe. The white cake mix is key. Go ahead and pour that all over top. And another re really great thing about this recipe is you can do it with any type of fruit, and it doesn't need to look pretty. It's just you dump. It's a dump cake. Yeah. Okay, I love my, it. My, my I was favorite. Say, that's my cake. specialty. Yeah. Well, sorry, I just dumped everything that's out of it. Okay. It's a dump cake. It's all right. That's it's all okay. right. All right. And am I mixing it together, or nope, what am I doing? Don't even need to mix it. No. Then the last thing I need you to do. Should I spread it out? Just even it out. Yeah, you can. Sometimes I'll like shake it, but I, I'm okay. always into the lazy recipe. That's right. how I operate. Yes. Okay. The last thing there, we have one stick of melted butter and you can just pour it all on top and just drizzle it all over all over like that yep perfect yum that's exactly it and then you're gonna put this in the oven for 45 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit okay and when it's done it's gonna look like this and that's Ooh. literally all you do but this looks like a crumble this looks yeah. like you like cobbler yeah. yes. yes. so cobbler yeah. like you first. took hours to no. make like a crumble <laughs> topping <laughs> the that's best amazing. hack the best hack that is so, so great. we can try this but I want to share a few Ooh, other recipes I am making this okay. tonight yes I love just it just take this home pop it I might I might <laughs> so even easier, I've got a one ingredient recipe for you. Okay. So taking two cans of drained fruit cocktail, blending it up, then Lexi, I'm going to have you pour those in okay. just over ice. So again, it's like a smoothie. It can be a mocktail for uh -huh. you. Yes. If you want to make it a cocktail, it's really delicious with an ounce of rum in there. Ooh. So that. delicious. But the fact that it's already many different types of fruit just. adds a little variety. Pretty good, mm. right? Ooh. Refreshing. Yeah. It's it like, is. Oh, it's rum. I think it's rum. <laughs> with, 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 I mean, obviously not okay. right now for me, but with rum great Sunday, that would be alcoholic rums great. now. So you could try sugar. it. Is that, is that no sugar That's one great. or is that sugar one? Yeah, so I did both of these recipes. I use the 100% juice. You can do the no sugar added. Oh. These ones are... Uh, sweetened with Splenda. There's uh, many different options yeah. out there. Great. Love it. The last recipe I have is the same setup. So what we use to make our smoothie, our cocktail, our mocktail. Mm -hmm. Putting it into popsicle molds and then your kiddos like it as well. That's so homemade great. popsicles Look at this. Look just at this. by blending up some drained fruit cocktail. Oh cans. my God, this and is so awesome. And then you know exactly what they're getting in their popsicle. You know there's no added sugar if you're doing that one. You know that it was the one ingredient from the can. Like you know so they're easy. getting their fruit. I love that. I That's love a good mom hack. I'm always down for the yes, mom hack. Yeah. I need That's all of them. Thank <laughs> you. Right. So uh, really quick, mm -hmm. you're gonna use how many cans? Two cans, Two cans of drained fruit cocktail. The cake mix. The cake mix and one stick of melted butter. And that's it. Bake at 
350 for 45 minutes. I love it. So All right. easy. Okay, so I have so to try yes. this. Yeah, oh, yeah. Brad, would you mind handing me that wooden that spoon? Wooden, yeah. I'll serve you guys up here. Thank yeah, I gotta you. try this. This is so good. Also really and good as you're serving that ice uh, cream. Ooh, tell Ooh. us again your, your website so that we sure. can go so on and Sure, so these check that recipes out. can be found on my website, camelbacknutritionwellness.com. If you're interested in learning more about all the products that Pacific Coast Producers makes and develops, um, check out pacificcoastproducers.com and they have an amazing <laughs> Instagram <laughs> handle that shares a bunch of fun recipes using their oh, hand products. I this love is, I'm, it. I'm making this, I'm making it. And I have gone on your website and, yeah? and made some of your <laughs> good, recipes. Yeah. And they come out not quite as good as when you made them because I'm not quite as good of a cook, but they were still really, really good. And uh, this is amazing. That sounds good. Kristen, so, thank you so much. Thank you, Kristen. Much. That's wow. awesome. Oh, my God. You guys. Right. This is it. Oh, this great. is really good. So, all right. I got, and how long you put it in the oven? 45 minutes. At three what? 350. We write all that down for me?